What are some not fun facts? Some whales, when old, no longer have enough strength to swim for as long, so if they swim too deep, they might not have enough strength to swim back up to get air so they end up drowning frown edit, some people smarter than I have pointed out that they technically don't drown, but instead suffocate from the lack of air. This is apparently because whales have to manually breathe instead of it being done automatically. And their death creates a whole new ecosystem like meaty dead coral reef brimming with life. If you get a roach infestation bad enough, they will eat your skin while you sleep. They will also crawl into your ear, which is a horrible, horrible experience. That sounds like it's coming from experience. Unfortunately it is. Can you go into some detail or is that too painful? The reason why dogs love squeaky toys is because it sounds like tiny animals dying smile. I had a Rottweiler lab mix. He'd carry his squeaky ball around so gently and any time he grabbed it a little too hard and it squeaked he'd immediately drop it and look so sad and concerned. He was such a good boy. Might be wrong but I remember hearing retriever breeds, golden slabs, were bred to have soft mouths so when they'd fetch the bird you shot down it wouldn't get all mangled. He might have been doing something similar. Sounds like a sweetie either way. Ours had such a soft mouth he would take the glass balls off the Christmas tree, carry them outside, toss them in the air and catch them. We'd find him doing this, with several balls out there. It was weird. There's a plant in Australia called the gimpy gimpy tree that has hairs all over it that are small enough and are compared to hypodermic needles. And whenever a person touches the plant these hairs stick into your skin and inject a toxin. That causes a pain compared to the affected area being covered in acid and set on fire. And what makes it worse is that the pain lasts months to years. Edit, changed spelling of some words. Pretty sure there was a guy that used it for toilet paper. Yep and unsurprisingly he shot himself. Edit, while my first award and my highest ranked comment in true Reddit style is about a guy who went through the three stages of gimpy gimpy grief shat, shock, shot. Step aside, bottle cap challenge. I present to you the wiping your ass with millions of toxic needles challenge. That's one way to kill Instagram. When it comes to heart disease, the very first symptom in roughly 13 of all cases is sudden death. Meaning you could be perfectly healthy and drop dead because you had heart disease and didn't know it. Check your family history people. Yep, my old man was 64, ate healthy, ran every day, had an old guy six-pack, didn't drink or smoke, and loved his job. One day he just literally fell over dead. Silent ischemia. What kind of tests would have prevented this? Statistically at least one person who's on Reddit right now won't be alive tomorrow. Is it because you murder one Redditor a day? Oh man, I hope so, talk about a plot twist. You can die from Alzheimer's due to the brain forgetting how to swallow or breathe. Babies can die after consuming honey, the botulinum toxin, like the one in Botox, will paralyze their muscles causing floppy baby syndrome. Edit, to clarify the bacterial spores, basically a super resistant sleepy form of the microbe, are in the honey, not the actual toxin. After going into the human they start the party and produce the toxin. They really should have named that something else. Just like wobbly hedgehog syndrome. Who's naming these things? Weenie Hut General. The Spanish flu was one of the most lethal pandemics in history, edited out the most. There are lots of elements that determine the deadliness of these various diseases and too much uncertainty in death tolls to say for sure which disease was the most lethal. People who caught it bled from their ears, experienced nausea and extreme fever, their skin turned shades of blue, and experienced extreme pain from the slightest touch. It caused internal hemorrhaging. 18 to 35 adults immune systems which would typically be considered the strongest would react so strongly that their bodies would fill up with antibodies and fluid, literally drowning the infected with their own defense mechanism, this happened for a specific reason. See Peekman's comment. Edit, if you are looking for a good source, The Great Influenza by John M. Very is a good one. Horses can't throw up. If they need to throw up, they'll die. Oh man that that grass was ass dies. Brain aneurysms can happen at any time in your life and you won't know until it's too late or if a doctor accidentally finds it. My cousin had his, first, brain aneurysm at 23 in 2003. 
week prior complained of headaches. Was taking hot shower and collapsed. Met a flight to hospital and the docs operated on brain and managed to save him. Told us he'd be like a little kid for rest of life. He managed to make a full recovery within five years, learned to walk talk again, everything. It was amazing and unimaginable at the same time. Only reminder was the scar on his head. He had his second and fatal brain aneurysm in his sleep at age 36 in 2016. No symptoms this time. He was always living on borrowed time. Just glad we got an additional 13 years with him before he left us for good. Dolphins have been known to violently rape female dolphins in groups. They rape people too. That's why I have no interest in swimming with them. Heroin overdose is so prevalent, and dangerous, because of how fast tolerance bounces back. So let's say an addict gets arrested and is in jail for a few days, weeks, whatever. If they're a heavy user even half the dose they last use could kill them. I actually heard an interesting thing about heroin overdose during a lecture. Taking heroin in a different place or different kind of place can actually lead to overdoses. Basically it's like Pavlov's dog, when you have the same ritual, including place, your body actually prepares itself, I assume heart rate change, etc., and has situation-specific tolerance. You have it somewhere without the ritual and your body doesn't do that preparation, meaning you have less tolerance to the drug, even if it's the same dose as normal. Fascinating concept. Edit, thank you for the silver kind Redditor. If you shine a flashlight smartphone on a newborn sea turtle for too long, which could be only minutes, it will start crawling around in circles. Known as the ring of death, it means that the turtle's eyesight has been permanently damaged due to mistaking your lights for the moon that guides it to the sea. By doing this, you have doomed the sea turtle to death right after birth. Hashtag X200B, edit, information was given to me by the Sea Turtle Preservation Society in India Atlantic, FL during a presentation. It's really sad that this is even a known thing. Poor turtles. Cities are super bad for sea turtles because they are full of bright lights which confuse them. Sperm attracts ants because it contains fructose, I learned it the hard way this morning. If it makes you feel any better, those ants were female. See you later virgins. There is a whale called 52 Blue who sings at such a strange frequency he is unable to communicate with other whales. Pretty sure there was an Octonauts program about it. They make him a special translator and he lives happily ever after. Gingivitis is contagious. This is exceptionally gross. Sharks eat their siblings before birth year can be only one. There are 100 of them on average it's the first battle royale. A cat's penis is sharply barbed along its shaft. That's because female cats only ovulate in response to having their vaginas internally stabbed. That sounds horrible and makes me wonder why cat populations are out of control. Cats are sadomasochists. Some dogs have to get their anal glands squeezed by veterinarians, or their owners, if too much fluid gets stuck in them. Dogs usually help themselves with the issue though, by pooing or rubbing their butts on the floor. And if your dog isn't the type that drags their butt on your carpet to let you know things are getting backed up, the glands can abscess and explode. Then for a few weeks it looks like your dog has two buttholes. This happened to my cat earlier this year. It was very gross. Oh lord this was a bad thread to go through while eating. Japanese used to use prisoners to test how many bodies their sword was, they would stack prisoners on top of each other and however many the sword went through was how many bodies the sword was. At the rape of Nanking during the Japanese-Chinese War in 1939 Japanese officers held a contest who could kill the most Chinese civilians with a sword. Cowgirl reverse cowgirl position is the most common reason for a man's penis to break. Huh. So. Asking for a friend who happened to get lucky. What's a broken penis supposed to look and feel like exactly? Bent and painful. Ah. Know any good hospitals while you're at it? No I have never felt the pain of a broken penis so I don't need hospitals but good luck in your search for a penis surgeon.